Hey guys, it's the May Addy Update. I'm Jessica Faith and I am here to share with you a bunch of fun products from April and then the upcoming entertainment news and stuff like that. I won't be showing you guys the Ipsy Glam Bag yet because I have a friend who um, we're going to open our Ipsy Glam Bags together this time around. It's her first Ipsy bag so she's really excited and I'm really excited to share this experience. I'm really excited that she's sharing this experience with me. It's it's awesome. I, I love the Ipsy Glam Bag. Um, for those of you who don't know what it is, <laughs> just go check out my old videos about what it is. Um, or subscribe to my channel and um, you will see her open up her first Ipsy Glam Bag and you'll see uh, my Ipsy Glam Bag for this month. And you'll get to see how they're different because they're going to have in the Ipsy Glam Bags this month, they're going to have um, different products for each person because they've got like, I think it's like seven products and then you get two of those seven products is one of your five products. It's really confusing, huh? Yeah, well, watch the video and you'll understand a little bit more about that. Um, so go down and subscribe right now and then you can come back to this video. Or you can just finish this video. <laughs> I have just gotten done with finals and I am super excited. It's summer. I am, I mean, I can't even contain my excitement. It's, <laughs> it's such a nice feeling to be done with finals. Um, I'm also going traveling this, this uh, summer. I'm going to try and pre-record uh, a bunch of videos, but I will have videos up for you this summer, guys. I've been really slacking on the videos the past two months because I've been doing finals and case studies and all sorts of stuff um, for school, so I just haven't had time. I will have time now, and I will get you more videos and more awesome makeup tutorials and everything. I am going to do a Lone Ranger makeup tutorial, which I'm really excited uh, about. Lone Ranger comes out July 3rd. So be sure to check out that tutorial and you can wear that look to the premiere and just look all cool like. And yeah. Some people I know have been a little bit worried about whether or not Vampire Diaries is dying because uh, the CW just came out with a new show called The Originals which is based off of the originals in Vampire Diaries. For those of you who didn't know about that, surprise! Um, it's really funny actually because I was a huge Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan growing up and they did the exact same thing in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, they took Angel, who was Buffy's first boyfriend or first love or whatever, and um, he got his own show and basically he's a vampire who hunts other vampires. Yeah. Um, it was, a, I loved Buffy and I loved Angel. They were both awesome shows, but it's just really funny to see all the correlations with the Vampire Diaries and Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It's kind of, I don't know, there's a lot of similarity. But yeah, the originals will be coming out this fall, I'm pretty sure, and, um, the thing about the originals is it's basically, uh, Klaus, Rebecca, and Elijah, and then Haley, the wolf girl, I don't want to give too much away because there's some stuff that if you haven't seen that episode yet um, of Vampire Diaries where Klaus goes to New Orleans, then you don't know what happened there and you don't know why they're making a new show for it. So please go check out that episode. It will explain everything. Um, I am kind of bummed though because this means that I guess since Rebecca's going to be in this one, I don't know if there's going to be crossovers between Vampire Diaries and the originals. I would think they'd be filming in two totally different locations. So for you people who are rooting for Rebecca and Matt, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to say there because it said on IMDb that Rebecca is going to be on the original show. If you're not up to speed with Vampire Diaries, you need to get up to speed because a lot has happened, especially for those of you who finished on like the third season, so much has happened in the fourth season. It's unbelievable how much has happened and it's almost like I mean there were times in the season that I was like man you could just almost start a new season just from right there leave it on a cliffhanger right there and start a new season because sometimes shows will start stop in like the middle of the season and then they'll pick up with a full season next season sort of thing I don't like it but there were so many cliffhangers in this season and it was like there were, at one point I was kind of getting bored with it because there was just too much going on and if you didn't keep up you got lost really really fast um, but at the same time, I love Vampire Diaries. They're always coming up with something new. Although the Haley thing, for those of you who have seen the New Orleans episode, the Haley thing, come on. It's the originals, and Vampire Diaries will be both um, be coming 
to the CW in the fall. And so will Beauty and the Beast from what I know. I really hope they come back. I love Beauty and the Beast. That show is so addictive. Well, as far as movies go, um, Now You See It will be out at the end of this month. I think it's the 31st. Yep, it's May 31st. The Lone Ranger comes out July 3rd. Percy Jackson comes out August 7th. I'm so excited for Percy Jackson. And if you guys have ideas for makeup tutorials I can do for that show, I'm thinking about doing a series, we'll see. I'm not even finished with the Stars and Daily series, but like I said, it's not really a series. I mean, it's gonna take me like a whole year to get through that kit. Those kits from Ulta are pretty awesome. And I'm wearing some of those colors today, actually. Um, this isn't a makeup tutorial that I'm going to post, though, because I actually stole this idea from somebody else. Uh, makeup look today is from Um Bracelet here is from Premier Design. So, yeah, if you guys have any ideas for Percy Jackson makeup tutorials, please let me know. Comment below. Um, Thor The Dark World is the next Thor movie, and that will be out November 8th. So, that'll come out the same month as Catching Fire. I wonder if I should put money on which one is going to attract more people. Because guys are more interested in the Thor movie, right? And girls are more interested in the Hunger Games movie. Although, you know what? Hunger Games isn't really like Twilight, you know? Um, they kind of have guy viewers too, so. Which movie do you think is gonna get more viewers? Everybody's going to vote Hunger Games. Let's not even do that. <laughs> you can comment below for fun. Which one do you think is going to be? Oh, and another thing. How many of you who are Vampire Diaries fans, how many of you are going to watch the originals? And do you think that there will be more viewers for the originals because it's not as mushy-gushy as Vampire Diaries? I mean, Vampire Diaries is pretty mushy-gushy. People don't go see it. I mean, you don't know a lot of, I mean, I don't know a lot of guys who watch Vampire Diaries, but I know a lot of guys who would watch the originals. What do you guys think? Um, that is it for entertainment news. And because I don't have the Ipsy Glam bags, we're going to skip straight to April favorites. What were you guys' April favorites? Go ahead, comment below. I want to know what you guys' favorites were. Um, and I would love to see you guys uh, post video responses to this. Like, what were your favorites of all these different categories? I'm gonna start making collages that have all my favorite things from uh, the month. So, like, little things like this, like my best friend Kendra, you guys all remember Kendra, she drew me this. This is Erwin the elephant. Isn't he cute? And then, uh, actually, that's for my little sister. I kind of stole it. And then this is Strawberry Shortcake the Giraffe. She knew that I was having like this strawberry shortcake crazy fit thing. I'm gonna put those on the collage and then I'm also gonna take like little snippets of my favorite things from like magazines and stuff that I get and I got this thing and a CD that I got um, and I'll explain what that is when I do the uh, update thing and I got my applause magazine so I'll show you all the new um, Mary Kay stuff that's gonna come out and I don't know why I'm just saying to that. Anyways, um, I'm going to do one, and I would love if you guys would do one. If you do one for this month, take a picture of it and tweet me a picture because I'd love to see it. Um, I, I love seeing you guys' responses to these videos. These videos are all about inspiring you guys and helping you guys find products that you like that just make things easier or just, like, that express you, basically. Um, sometimes I just throw random stuff in there. So, my favorite beauty products from this month, I had a lot. I mean, I had a lot, a lot. Um, but I'll go ahead and start with this stuff right here. This is the Jordana, um, brow eye shadow powder, uh, in Auburn. I use it for my eyebrows, and it's like, I love this stuff. I think it makes my eyebrows look okay. If not, comment down below and let me know if you've got a better solution if you don't like my eyebrows. Now, I also found this thing. I needed like a little nail brush and I was being super picky about it. And then I saw this thing at the dollar store. I got this at the dollar store, guys. And isn't it cute? It's a little ladybug. And it's a nail um, brush so I can clean my nails. And that's what I needed and I found one. And no, it's not the best quality, but it works. I mean, I've used it and it works fine. And it was only a dollar and look at how cute it is. 
Just look at how cute that little ladybug brush is. Is that not the cutest little thing you've ever seen? I'm gonna stop talking. Okay, the next thing I uh, found this month that I love, oh, this one's not opened. I thought they were all opened. Okay, what this is, right here, is this is nail polish remover pads. This one has 32 pads. Well, they all have 32 pads, but this one's melon. It's scented like melon. And I think it smells awesome. And basically these things are just like nail polish remover, only you only need one pad, so this thing will last me forever. You only need one pad. I've got a little bit of nail polish. Right so there. what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rub a little bit on here. And I just wasted three pads. Don't do what I do, guys. Don't do what I do. Um, so these pads are really, really thin. This was actually three pads. I completely forgot how thin these things were, and I just wasted three pads. But it, man. But you can buy these at Cherry Culture. Sometimes it's LA Colors, so sometimes you can get them at um, the dollar store if you're willing to wait for them to come back to the dollar store. The only problem is I don't know for sure that they will come back to the dollar store. It's you taking your chances. You could also wait for it to maybe come back to Dollar General, but I haven't seen any at Dollar General. Um, so, I don't know. I couldn't wait for mine. Um, I tried these with a friend. It got rid of all my toenail polish with just one of those things. I just wasted a whole bunch. I can't believe I wasted that much. Um, don't do what I do, guys. Remember, but this stuff actually works really good when you use it the right way. Now I'm all sticky because I took three pads. I love my uh, pink bamboo nail polish because it, look, it matches my dress. Isn't that cute? You guys want to see a magic trick? Bam! Did it work? No. One more time. One more time. Bam! Bet you guys didn't think I could do it, did you? Magic. So, that was one of my favorites. <laughs> These colors are like almost completely identical. And this is something I just got. I mostly just wanted it because this one is actually, this, this color right here actually has the styling uh, brush. So you can do... So you can do like nail art with it. This is one of the Revlon nail art things. I haven't tried it out yet, so I wanted to try it out. You know you have too much nail polish when your two colors look exactly alike. I guess, no, they look exactly alike. <laughs> Another beauty product I found in April was the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Talets. Best of Beauty, Allure Award winner. Oh, from 2011. You gotta read the fine print. Um, so this stuff is awesome. It, it's really strong in smell. Like really, really strong. Mm -hmm. It's not rough on my skin. And it has aloe vera in it. So that's good for your skin. It'll help nourish your skin. I got this stuff and I love this stuff. It is 3D white crest toothpaste in radiant mint. And it like... This stuff has really cleaned my teeth. And I don't know if I'm just saying it really cleaned my teeth. It might be a mind thing. This could kind of go with, like, home products, too. Is that because I just painted my nails, I'm not going to open this up. Because um, even with magic, your nails are still wet right after you do them. Right? It's SPF 50 sunscreen, but it smells like a pina colada. And it's from Scentsy. And the nice thing about this is I don't like the sunscreen smell. I've never liked the sunscreen smell. If you made the sunscreen smell into a perfume, I wouldn't talk to you if you were wearing it. It's not true. I don't like the sunscreen smell. So this right here is a nice alternative. It's very high in SPF, so I can put this on probably like maybe only twice a day. You guys, this. Although you'll see it in the beginning of the video. But this dress right here that matches my pretty nails. Um, the dress I got from Old Navy is like 12 bucks. Um, so it might have been old, I'm not really sure. But it's summer, so they'll probably have it around for a while. And they had it in different colors too, if you don't like the pink color. And this I got, and I know this is no longer available at Forever 21, but I found it. And I think somebody returned it so, they had to sell it. Um, 
but I still had to pay for it full price. And it's not even my size, it's a medium. But I wanted this so bad, because look at that swan. It reminds me so much of like ink paintings, and I love ink paintings, and I love doing ink paintings, so I went ahead and I got It's it. just a little cute bracelet. It reminded me of Glenda the Good Witch, so I bought it. Um, and it was from Premier Designs Jewelry, along with this little bracelet here, right here that I'm wearing. That bracelet was from Premier Designs as well. Isn't it pretty? It's really simple and it can, I mean, it also brings the outfit down. If you're like in a dress and you feel like you're too dressed up, this is really good. Jewelry can always dress you down. Just like this, I can wear this with casual, like casual tank or something. I wouldn't wear it with a t-shirt. But I could wear like a casual tank with it and it would look really good. I, I tested this there yesterday. Actually, no, I was wearing a dress yesterday, so scratch that. Um, but that was my fashion stuff. Oh, I have one more big fashion item for you guys. So, these uh, sunglasses. Does anybody know what this box is from? I'll give you one guess. Tiffany. It's Tiffany sunglasses, guys. These are my first pair of Tiffany sunglasses ever, so I'm really excited about them. Rocking it. Everything looks so much brighter now. And I'm going to talk with a British accent the rest of the video. The next thing from fashion is fragrance. Okay, so this is my favorite fragrance of the month um, as far as perfume. But they don't make it anymore. My sister was cleaning out her closet and she gave me this and I really like it. It's Victoria's Secret. Well, they might make it. I'm not really sure. I just figure since she pulled it out of her closet, they probably don't. But it's Victoria's, Victoria's Secret um, Bombshell Body Mist. And I, I think it's just Bombshell. I think that's the, like, the fragrances. Okay, so I haven't smelled these yet, so I'm going to do it in front of you. I'm going to smell these in front of you. Okay, what this is right here. Oh, there's two. <laughs> That's cool. Um, okay, so this, these are both guy fragrances. So this is from a girl's perspective, guys, so pay attention. Oh, I like that. No, I don't like that. I liked it for about a second, and then the after smell. What is going on with my hair? Okay, I liked it for about a second, and then the after smell got to me. It smells like... It smells like good, and then it smells like eucalyptus, which would be good if it the eucalyptus didn't smell like this. So I guess it's not eucalyptus. Let me try this one more time. No, don't like it. Okay, that was uh, A de los Lacoste, El 1212. I don't know what it is. Pure. Per, it's per, per Lacoste, I don't know, if you can figure out what this is, don't use it. Okay, the other one, <laughs> this is so much fun guys, you have no idea how much fun I'm having right now in these shades, and I'm pretty sure I just messed up a nail. I like that, I like that a lot actually, it's got like a musky vanilla -y type smell. This is a good smell guys. You can use this one and I won't hurl around you. True story. Um, yeah, I like this one. This one is New Eau de la Coast El 1212 Noir. Noir Intense. Pleasures by Estee Lauder. Oh, freshy for the sheer pleasure of it. So pleasures. I don't like that one. That one smells way too much like flower. Okay, for fragrance, for your warmer, for your Scentsy Warmers, this is the best smell in the whole wide world, ever. It's best smell right now. This is Perk Me Up, and it basically smells like freshly brewed coffee. This is the best coffee smell, and it's very, like it's not just straight coffee. There's something else in it. I think it must be like a vanilla-y type smell with that. This one came in a close second for the ones that I just recently got. 
Um, I just like, I like how summery this one smells while at the same time kind of dialed down and it's just simply lime. So it smells like a lime. Okay, my favorite song in April was It Tied. It tied. It did. It did tie. Um, I Will Wait by Mumford & Sons, which didn't come out in April. Burning In My Soul by Brett Yonker, which also didn't come out in April. But those were the two songs that I was like, I couldn't stop listening to them all April. It was Burning In My Soul by Brett Yonker and I Will Wait by... I will wait by Mumford and Sons. My gadget fave had to be had to be the gadget, not the box. Okay, so this thing right here, I'm gonna pull this thing out for you. What this is right here is this is called a square, and coincidentally, it is square. This thing, um, if you are a consultant of any kind, if you do any kind of job where you need to get um, where you would rather have somebody pay with a credit card. This right here, you have to have a reason. It basically has to be work related, I'm pretty sure, because I think they do a background check before you get it or something, but it's free. Take note, this little device right here is free, but here's the deal, 2.75% um, of every um, sale you make with this goes to Square. And it helps me make sales because if I didn't have it, people who want to buy products with a credit card and can't would not buy from me. And we're going to move on to food and I'm going to drink some British coffee. All month long I've been crazy eating carrots like a rabbit and of course drinking my coffee. Mm -hmm. And um, I've also been making uh, for favorite drink, I've also been making uh, Cotton Candy Shirley Temples, which is where you take Sprite and then you take cotton candy and you put the cotton candy in the Sprite. I'll have to show you what that looks like sometime. Not today. My favorite YouTube video this month was, of course, the AT&T commercial where the kid talks about what would happen if you turned into a werewolf. She's like, it's better to be fast than to be turned into a werewolf. But it's my favorite commercial. So, that's it. That's all I've got for you guys. If there was any more, you'd die, right? Subscribe if you want to see what's in our Ipsy bags this month. Me and my friend. Um, she will be in the next video. I will be posting some more um, makeup tutorials. Not this one, because this one's from xsparkage.com. Go visit her. I'll post a link to this look, actually, um, if you want to try it out. Um, it's a good summer look. And what else? What else? What else? Um, that's pretty much it. I'll post more makeup tutorials, uh, especially the Lone Ranger. Look forward to it, guys. Um, comment below what you think I should do about, um, makeup tutorials based off of the, uh, Sea of Monsters, Percy Jackson. That's all, that's all I got for you guys. I'm sorry. Um, take care, guys. And I will see you in the next Addy Update or next video, or whatever. See you guys around. Hey guys, what's up? It is the May Addy update. <laughs> I'm super excited to be, oh my goodness gracious, I can't talk. I can't believe it. It's, time just keeps flying by. That she's, ex sh <laughs> I'm gonna start doing this thing. Um, I'm gonna start doing this thing. Okay, I'm gonna start doing this thing where um, I'm gonna make collages. <laughs> wow, that sounded so lame when I said it out loud. All my favorite things from that. Ooh. Anyways, um, and then, but it smells really good. It comes right off, and I don't normally like nail polish, but or nail. I love nail polish. I don't like normally. I can't talk. Oh, there's a, there's a smudge. Oh my gosh, that's not British. There's a smudge. There's a smudge on my glasses. Coffee's cold. I love them. I think they look good with my leather jacket. Oh, and by the way, this mug right here, this mug is from Orcas Island Pottery. So go check out their website. I'll post the link below. Isn't it cute? It's $20. But they're really cute. Go check them out.